thanks a lot for your kind invitation. Thank you a lot. Thanks a lot, uh, Mrs. Sylvia and uh, Engineer Tari for their nice introductory. Uh, I am lucky that the food was very delicious. It took a lot of time. So this means that to reduce the, the pace of the questions. So I am lucky for this. <coughs> I will not take uh, more than 25 minutes, I think. We do have 20 to 25 minutes. Not more than that. OK. So the. Uh, the subject of the uh, of the of the small speech will be, as uh, Tariq B have emphasized, about the upgrading of the logistics services in Egypt, how to embrace the future. First of all, I have to highlight what the IFIs or the IFCs all over the world were looking to us and the assessment that have, have that have been undertaken on uh, Egypt's status since 2014 uh, have been promoted. Regarding the quality of the roads, of course, everybody have uh, find that the quality of the roads have been highly changed uh, from where, can I have a, a mobile phone, a, a mobile microphone, please? Uh, have been promoted from 117th to 75, and fortunately, it was since three, three exactly three weeks, the final report of the the International Competitiveness Index have been released on the internet. You can check it. Now we are in the 45th. So we are in the 45th now compared to 118 in or 118 in 2014. This is with respect to the quality of roads, and we have not finished yet. We are working currently on about 950 kilometers, besides the, the work that, uh, that have been conducted by the, the, the Egyptian Corps of Engineers, the military Corps of Engineers. Regarding the quality of the port infrastructures, we were in the 66, now we are 41, and fortunately also, the last uh, uh, index proved that we are in the, in the rank of 39. So we have been advanced to <coughs> two stages. For the electrical, the, the, the electrical supply or the electricity supply, we jumped from 121 to 63. And even the quality of the railways, because everybody is condemning the railways and it's uh, it is perceived as a symbol of, uh, of negligence and no, it is according to the IFCs, they have proved that it has been improved from 78 in 2014 up to, 20, to 51 by the end of 200, uh, 2018. So, what are the economical as uh, impacts if we will have a new vision for the logistics in Egypt. What is the economical impact, what are the benefits that we will gonna gain from this? We have the highest cost of logistics all over the region, maybe all over the world, I admit that. The cost of logistics is about 30 to 40 percent of the cost of the final product. This is one of the facts that have to be borne in mind before pursuing our, our lecture. We are looking to minimize the cost of production and increase, of course, the competitiveness, and, of course, creating new job opportunities and blah, blah, blah. All these have to be taken into account. The most effective one will be the reduction, of course, of the cost of logistics. Also, we are looking for the integration of logistics centers along the urban ring road. We have here, this is the, ring, the urban ring road that have been inaugurated, which is the total length of 400 kilometers. This is the, the urban ring road. We are speaking about a lot of logistics centers, logistics center that will be located uh, very close to the new or to the main arteries that are crossing the the urban ring road. So all these red bullets 
will be logistic centers, logistic center, and the yellow one are the dry ports.